So in this movie, we're going to talk a little bit about the tint layer and exactly how it works. This is going to be a pretty short one, but uh, give you an idea of exactly what goes on when you have a tint layer selected. Now this works best if you have kind of a neutral colored flare. Uh, if you have a colored flare, it doesn't work quite as well. So in this case, we have uh, a preset called Digicam Sun, which is kind of pretty much white by default. And you'll notice that my tint layer is set to my background layer. So it's the same layer that I'm compositing on top of. And what the tint layer is designed to do is to color the flare as you move it over certain areas of the image. So as you move it over colored areas of the image, it's going to change the color of the flare. So as I start moving this around, you'll see it start to kind of take on a bluish purple tinge. I pull it down here to the doorway, you can see it'll take on kind of a yellowish tinge. Um, as I push it up to the tree, it starts to take on kind of a green, um, orange tinge, depending on whether it's over a leaf or a branch or, or what have you. Um, so now it's got a little bit of a green tinge to it. So the really nice thing about the tint layer is it really helps you composite seamlessly into your original image the flare takes on the color of that original image, or it takes on the colors of the that are below it. And so, you know, as I move this around to blue, it becomes bluish purple, yellowish, and all the way back to white, if I have it on top of white. And you can select pretty much any layer as the tint layer, uh, but it works best if you're, if you select the layer that is the same thing that you're compositing it on top of because that way it's actually sampling the colors from that image and it should look really good. So that's uh, really all there is to the tin layer.